Hello everyone! Welcome to our devlog video about our co-op VR game Astro Engineers. In the previous video we showcased a lot of the lobby and spaceship environment. In the meantime we have worked a lot on our core game mechanics. Since we now have a good and solid foundation for our multiplayer systems, we can start working on our biggest step yet. For the first mission, we travel to a familiar planet, Mars. The past few months we have been planning, designing and building the Mars level. And because this is the first mission, we have to test out a lot of different concepts. This is one of the main reasons we have chosen a relatively small environment. Another reason for the choice is that we don't want the game to be a VR walking simulator, but rather an adventure where you have to think, puzzle and work together with your friends. The first versions of Mars look a little scrappy. But I would like to take you through some important changes. First, the centerpiece of this mission, the Ecodome. This dome is the place where you will spend most of the time. We chose to make this place feel magical and special. The dome has a self-sustaining ecosystem with grass, plants and trees. One of the main puzzles inside the Ecodome is the pie puzzle. This puzzle went through some iterations before we were happy with what we have now. We won't spoil too much, but you will need to have a good memory and be able to communicate with each other. Before you enter the magical ecodome, you will have to travel to the barren Mars wastelands. This is also where you will encounter your first obstacle. As this is the first mission, the players will have to be introduced to different ways of moving around in virtual reality. In this first test, the players will have to repair a ladder left behind in a previous expedition. After repairing the ladder, the players will have to climb the ladder to reach the next point of the mission. To guide the players in their missions, we introduced a boss giving instructions to the player. This boss will tell you about the mission, what to do, and hands out the required tools for the mission at hand. Go and make me proud. To make the boss understandable for everyone, the subtitle system has been added to the game. By showing text to the player, we can use colors and text effects to make clear what the boss or other speaking characters are saying. The subtitles follow the player around, but are limited in movement to keep the text readable and the game playable. For more information on the implementation, please watch the first technical deep dive about how the subtitles are implemented. As you might have noticed, the hands received an update. These hands are definitely an upgrade and work way better with the desired art style and feeling of the game. They are also designed around the new poppin system. These poppins are useful tools that will help you with your mission. Just hover them over your left wrist and they should pop right in. These poppins are an important part of the game. We want players to be a unique addition to the group, to encourage teamwork and exploration. The first tool that is in the game right now is a hacking tool. This tool can hack specific doors, machines and more. More tools are planned, but that's something we would like to keep a secret and share with you later on. The game's lobby has changed a tiny bit as well. Apart from the lighting changes that you can see, the ready board has also been changed. The radar board is now always on, using a new technique to display better looking screens. This technique is also used for other screens like the hacking screen, puzzle icons and the puzzle console and many more screens in the game. How this works exactly will be shown later on in another technical deep dive. The ready board shows visuals to indicate the player has to ready up and change accordingly. Since the previous screens did not do this and did not incentivize the player to ready up. Finally, we want to end the video with a small roadmap for the game. Apart from a secondary project, we are working hard on the next additions to the game. As you can see on this rudimentary roadmap, the current state of the game was a result of focus on the core gameplay loop. Now development will shift focus on the 0.02 version, which will include a functional second mission and will polish the last parts of the first mission. Also, gaming platforms like Steam and Meta's platform will receive support to make testing easier for all players. For our future 003 version, 
we hope to do a demo release at the end of summer which will contain all three missions with a better lobby experience. But we'd like to show you we're hard at work instead of telling you. So please enjoy this preview of the hard work being put into the second mission. After enjoying this preview, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, check out our socials to stay up to date and join the Discord server. Have a great day and we hope to see you in the next video.